Once, once we set up the cones, you guys will all have a picture of where the cake's going to be at. So the objective is for the team with the ball to run to what we're calling a space in here or into where no. we had. We, we put three defenders here, there's only one open. So they got to work to get to the open space, and these three defenders have to work to make sure there is no space. So there's always, they're always realigning. So the running lines are also, you know, running. We have not going into punch and duties or unders and overs. We just want to run at a space. So you get a running line to go through that. And they're going to be past the ball going through that, that space. And the defense is the defensive is team allowed to, to goal tap? They can goal tap, but, but now they, they, they can just sit here and go through here all the time. Especially if they've just been tagged, then they only have two, two. defense. Two. So there's two more open, so it wouldn't be a live choice. Um, so I'm... I'm I'm um, as strong as like non visual. Yeah, that's um, okay. But are we going from like the corner to the other corner and then the defense is going from the opposite you corner? You can go to corner? whichever corner you want. Except, except the middle if you do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Except, so if you score, the person goes through here, everyone stays on the field except this person and then they maintain possession. So we will oh, so keep the ball. Yeah. 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 So we're yeah. going to start the ball in the middle and put one. Three here, one three here, and say go. And I'll run to the other side to come in. First person in picks up the ball, they're on offense. So the ball's in the Just middle. Just to start it, one time on yeah. the ground. Just run, wrong. go, and then we start the game. And now you're looking to put runners through, running through the, the, the cones or the gates, and the defenders are either trying to tag them or stop them from getting into those spaces. What kind of passing is allowed? <coughs> There's no pa whatever passing you whatever want. You so it's all, about, it's all about trying to go through lines. That's, yeah, it's that's more about goal. somebody running. Yeah. Through a space, yeah. through a goal. What constitutes a, a, a turnover? Like, is it ball to run to a turnover, or yes? Yeah, any tag is a turnover. Drop ball is a turnover. Anything else is pretty much fair game. Okay. How? Um, first of all, I like um, what we're. So we're looking at this is a great starting point when we're looking at simple to more complex. Where, where would we go with this game now? Um, How would we start working this? Not to where, not an end goal yet, but mm -hmm. closer to, because you asked a great question, what sort of passes? Yeah. So how would we get closer to our game, rugby? Um, so one thing that you can yeah. do is implement so only backwards passes, okay. like don't allow forwards passes, and if you want to make yeah. the game more difficult, yeah. you could have um, each of these sets of cones be a different color, and then after each turnover, have the facilitator or whoever say blue cones or yeah. like yellow cones. What? Who, 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 where's, where did the facilitator come from? Oh, you know, just the random teammate yeah. on the <laughs> side. Yeah. 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 I thought yeah. you were saying the progression. No oh, 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 who said anything about the facilitator? Um, someone here had a great comment. Or you could have it go like in a clockwise, so if you score it, you have to go through here next. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or it has to be a different goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Correct. Yeah. 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 So then that would come into the structure, rules, laws. Yes. Okay. And cool. time. So the facilitator is back out there, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Did, uh, did so, someone? No? Okay. Okay. I thought someone, <laughs> I thought someone had another idea as, as they were changing it. What, any other uh, developments? Any other simple to more complex here? Does that... Does that get starting to get to where we would want it? Obviously, we wanted at some stage to become rugby related. Are we getting yeah. closer to the, the, the product that we're looking for? <coughs> you can mandate direction of play. Right? Well, 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 who's man, who's mandating well, what? We can make it sort of a rule after no. after school. Love it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So we can, change, yeah. we can change the rules. Yeah. 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 So we see some success here. Um, let me ask you something about the time. So 3v3 for 90 seconds. How many are at your training session, or how many of these do you have going at the same time? Well, I assume that uh, we would probably have groups of three per grid and have one resting in between, and then like the losers would walk. Brilliant. So you could have two grids going on. You have 18 players. You have three v three and three on the sideline. Let me give you a piece of information. Visual reps. If again, this is going back to a bit of what Salty said, but also we will show you how. So when it goes back to the question you were asking me, how we can help as a, an assistant coach on the sideline, so that if we have a team on the sideline, but again, 
Solzy always goes back to they cannot be on the sideline for long. So I would cut this game in half straight away. I would go for 45 seconds so you can score the most. And a visual team on the sideline is looking for the following. How are they scoring? What tricks can I use? What mistakes are they making? How could I do it better? And then as you got into perhaps changing the pass, uh, like you, you would want it, where we would then have someone on the sideline just assisting them with, just get your hands up and push that ball across your body. That would be the small micro skill development on the sideline for about only 30 seconds by the time they get to you. You only have 30 seconds to say, hey guys, what are we doing well? What are we learning from what's going on here right now? And then back in again so they're getting reps, 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 reps. Cool. Do we like this one? Yeah. Are we going to save it for this afternoon? Because you're all you going to have to. Right? That's the only one. I can I tell it away. You can play it up. And give it up to me. 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 Give